Everything you've wanted to know about John Horgan. Horgan is the leader of the official opposition, meaning he's the leader of the party with the second most seats, currently the NDP. In the upcoming election, he hopes to change this and have his party form the government. And the polls don't seem to be against him, though this is certainly not the first time that that's happened and the NDP have still not quite made it. Let's go back a little. John Horgan is 57 years old, born in Victoria. He's got a Bachelor's of Arts from Trent University and a Master's in History from Sydney University. He's been involved in government since 1993, when he worked as an analyst at the Policy Coordination Branch for the Ministry of Government Services. He also worked as the Director at the Cabinet Policy and Communication Secretariat in 1996, and in 98 was the Director of the Crown Corporation Secretariat and Director of Corporate Affairs at Columbia Power. And in 1999, he was the Chief of Staff at Premier Dan Miller's office. Then, in 2005, he won the NDP nomination for the riding of Malahat Juan de Fuca, and later won the seat. He then went on to serve as the opposition critic of education, and then in 2006, he became the critic of energy, mines, and petroleum. He was re-elected in 2009, and during this term, he ran for leadership of the NDP, but lost to Adrian Dix. After the NDP failed to win a majority in the 2013 election, an election that most assumed would go to the NDP, Adrian Dix resigned as party leader. At the time, Horgan stated that he had no intent to run for the position again. But after only one MLA, Mark Farnworth, announced his candidacy, Horgan decided to give it another shot. Farnworth later pulled out of the race, leaving Horgan to win the leadership in 2014. Now, in 2017, many polls, again, look somewhat favorable for the NDP. Horgan hopes this election will be more successful for him than his predecessors. If you want to learn more, you can learn about the whole party's platform for the upcoming election and how it compares to the competition by watching my simplified overview video. Or you can watch my other videos about the other leaders, Andrew Weaver and Christy Clark. Thanks for watching. Voting happens Tuesday, May 9th.